why Manchester United could win the Premier League. Can't lie, man's been avoiding making this video, not gonna lie. But when you wake up from your dream, your head hits the concrete floor, and really it also hits your head, bro. It's peak. Man can't even take them for dickheads no more squad-wise. Now I'm gonna explain the roles, and this is all it takes, you know, for Man United to win this league, because I'll be real, yeah? Um, there are a couple other teams that I'm gonna do videos for because they're serious contenders. Man United are definitely one of them. Now, I know that I'm on Football Manager. The only reason why I'm on Football Manager is so I can use it as a tool to explain the roles, how they should be playing in real life a bit better. Say, so, first off, the goalkeeper's <laughs> the goalkeeper position should be De Gea. Don't get it twisted, Dean Henderson is very good yeah, but he's never reached that elite status yet. However, De Gea has, and I feel like if there's something to play for, for example, winning the flipping league, yeah, De Gea will step up still, especially the way I've seen him save shots, bruv, in the past. Like, man's definitely got PTSD over that. I can't lie, that was fucking painful. And we know De Gea is not good at playing out from the back, so that's one thing that I'll make sure he attempts not to do, bruv, I'm not gonna lie, like, playing out from the back, sometimes you have to, and, and just go to your nearest option, and I think he'll do that, but don't force him under the pressure, because that's not his game still. Man like David De Gea is who I'm choosing to go and go still. All right, next we've got the right back. Man like Wan Bissaka is definitely playing right back still, as a no-nonsense fullback in real life, which he literally is, because man going forward is like, you're, you're, it's bruv, watching this guy going forward, yeah, is like you're trying to run in flipping mud. That's what it's like, because the way man's running, yeah, it's, it doesn't make sense right don't add that brother I'll be right. however defensively one-on-one -on -one defending he's literally top three top two top one best in the world at doing that and and man man them definitely know that arc style oh, fucking hell. arcs raheem what what uh, man like one bissaka's on arcs raheem bruv so all one bissaka has to do is pass inside to the ball playing defenders which we will move on to so first off I'm going to go with man like Harry Maguire. See, now, I know that these guys have been trying to find suitable cover for man like Harry Maguire for quite a while. And, and I believe they found it in Rafa Varane. Definitely found it. So now, after watching Man United for quite a while, unfortunately, uh, man like Harry Okay, it's not unfortunate, but listen. Man like Harry Maguire is actually very good on the ball. So I've seen him pick up the ball and drive forward. I've seen him collect the ball in the midfield a lot of the time as well. So he actually does get up, up the pitch. And now I can actually trust him as a ball playing defender, yeah, to get up the pitch and not be worried about him having to drag pack as long as Varane is there. Because Varane as a cover will suit him to the T. So, Ask the Real Madrid fans, yeah, how many times man like Varane has made a last stitch tackle? That is what you're going to see a lot of. But then Varane is going to be back. And if they're trying to counter them, then obviously Varane's going to catch any attacker because man's almost as fast, if not faster, than how many attackers in this world in real life, bruv. So yeah, let's see how, how that one goes. Moving on to that next position, we've got man like Luke Shaw playing left back. Now, Man United fans, let's be real. Let's be real. Um, some people might say it's Alex Tellez, which is the catalyst, which is true, yeah? But don't forget, the day when Nicolas P um, Pepe spun this guy, yeah? That, that changed his life. Let's be real. That's changed his life, bruv. Now he's a new man. N now he's really Luke Shaw, bruv, because now man, man's got very underrated dribbling. Going forward, now he's the one spinning, man. Now he's the one scoring goals and shit. Like, you've seen what you can do going forward, bruv. He's even taken set pieces as well. He's actually got good delivery. So, yeah, he's definitely, in real life, going to have to be a forward-thinking left-back, also known as a wing-back attack, bruv. Sick. Now, this next part, which is the midfield, is very subjective. Let's get into it. First off, we've got man like Donny van der Beek in that midfield as a deep-playing playmaker in real life bro now shout out free donny because i've seen this guy at ajax yeah shell it down as a deep playing playmaker under pressure he's phenomenal in terms of ball retention he's also phenomenal as well. now the reason why i haven't gone with mctominay in this role is because he cannot pass the same way van der beek can he's not as good under pressure the same way van der beek is i know you guys that love all the passion and shit are gonna say ah oh, but when you don't have the ball who's gonna be winning it listen when you have the ball who cares about winning it, bruv? You get me? Man like Van der Beek is going to be retaining the ball. So therefore, you will barely lose the ball, win it? You get me in that midfield? But don't forget, if there is a case of man like Van der Beek having to defend, he can definitely get stuck in. Let's be real. So, all right, the next midfielder that we've got is man like Paul Pogba. Now, this guy is the main reason why I believe they can win the league. Because he's so good at it. Man like Pogba is one of the best midfielders I have ever seen play alive. I'll be real. Now, the role that I've got him on is called a Mazzella. This is the most forward-thinking midfielder you could possibly get. And I think he should play this role in real life because... As a winger, he's good, yeah, but starting off in that midfield, then moving to the wing will be a lot more effective, especially if he's the one picking up the ball and driving. Man like him and Sancho can definitely do an interchange thing as well, because don't forget, it's going to be very forward thinking. So they're technically playing as a cam from that centre mid, you get me, as, as a left cam. That's what it is, that's technically what it is. So don't be surprised if you see Sancho and Pogba playing at the same time and you see Pogba playing wider than Sancho. 
that's because what I just said, that's the interchange. That's when, um, obviously, they switch places, isn't it? Simple as, bro. And I finally believe that Man United have finally understood that playing Pogba the furthest forward is the best thing you could ever do because going forward, this guy is phenomenal. As we've seen on the first day, how many assists? Let's move on. Now, the starting left winger will be man like Jaden Sancho. That's what it should be. You get me? Man like Jaden Sancho. Now, remember in my first Jungle Talk video that I did on this channel, I warned you, man, about the Sancho and the Pogba combination. That's the one that I'm very worried about. Now, let me explain. Now, if Pogba's the most forward thinker midfielder and Sancho is that left winger cutting inside with his head up, he's going to be the closest midfielder to Sancho, meaning that he's going to be the plan A for him. He's going to be that easy pass. Now, imagine Pogba is your easy pass. Are you mad, bruv? Also, have you noticed that Sancho, out of everyone in this starting eleven going forward, is the only player on support? Have you noticed? That is because them men are finishers, innit? All of these men know how to score goals. Greenwood knows where the goal is comfortably. Fernandez knows where the goal is comfortably. Pogba, comfortably. Martial, it's, it's getting there, but it's definitely comfortable, though. And Sancho, he's not that finisher. He's a creator though, and, and I'm not taking anything away from Fernandez creating ability or Pogba's, yeah, but listen, man like Sancho, he's going to be having a field day, the amount of attacking runs that these lot are going to be making, bruv. And they're going to be having the field day, the amount of balls that they're going to be getting from Sancho. Say Now moving on to that right wing position. I've surprised myself by doing this, but I think it's what's best, bruv. We've got man like Greenwood. Nah, 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 I couldn't bring myself to do it. He's a striker. I'm sorry, man like Greenwood is a striker. I'll go with Martial with now, the ideal right winger would have been Marcus Rashford, but obviously he's injured for probably the whole season. So I'm going to go with Manla Antino, Ugh. Anthony Martial instead. Now, we've got an issue with Martial on that right wing, and that's the fact that he cannot cross a ball. Now, to counter this, Manla Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going to have to tell Manla Martial to just run inwards. Instead of running to the byline like a normal right winger would do, man will turn him into an inside forward in game and in real life just ask him to run more inwards in it. Now, I know you might think it might get congested, yeah, but I'll tell you why. As long as he's playing a role of the Rama de Tent, you get me? This role in the... <laughs> wait, wait. This role is literally a wide poach. I mean, that he's not going to provide you much apart from scoring goals. But listen, if you've got a creator like Sancho, Martial's going to be just roaming around, you get me? Might be playing striker, right wing, probably even left wing. Might be all around as a run with the just, just pressing the ball and, and winning it and dribbling and trying to shoot. That's what he's going to be doing still. And that's what I think he'll do in real life. Might, might just be running around, yeah? But then when he gets the ball, he'll pick up the ball. And he's got a decent shot in him, so he'll get a good couple goals. Especially if he's getting service, he'll get a good couple goals. And don't forget, his link-up play is actually really good as well. So that, that's going to be um, a link-up pivot. On that right wing, you get me? I don't think they have one right now. So on that right wing, you're going to have a good pivot to link up because he can hold up the ball and he can actually like lay it off to someone as well. So yeah, man like Martial is that option for right wing still. So now up front, we've got man like Mason Greenwood and, and I had to do it because he's not a winger. I can't lie. I know he has got good speed and shit and, and his dribbling is improving. But listen, his finishing ability, you can't put that out wide, man. I have to be real, he's a striker still. Similar to Van Persie. Because this is what I'm talking about now. I'm not even chatting shit no more, yeah? Let me tell you something now. When Van Persie won the league for Man United, yeah, this is what they told him. No, this is what Sir Alex Ferguson told the team. If you don't pass the ball to Van Persie, you're coming off the pitch. Bro. And I know it's, and I know a man like Greenwood is young, yeah, and I know it's a lot of weight on his shoulders, but I think he can handle it still. Moral of the story, just give man the ball in a dangerous position. And, and trust me, you, you'll be thanked for it, bro, because that's going to be a goal. And, and you'll get an assist because I can't see this guy missing. I can't lie. When was the last time I saw this guy miss an easy chance, bro? Because more time he's putting that away. I have to be real, man like Greenwood. We all know about the left foot, the right foot. Do I have to get into detail on that? I don't, I don't want to, innit? Because it's so obvious, man, man like Greenwood, innit? And lastly, we've got man like Bruno Fernandes. Now, I remember before he went Man United, Man United weren't in a good position at all. And I was like to one of my friends, Tarek, shout out Tarek, what the hell do you think this one person, one signing, will do for your whole team? He can't transform the whole team. He's one guy. Man was wrong, innit? You get me? I'm not gonna lie. Man was definitely wrong still. Now, whether it be penalties, free kicks, corners, man creates goals, man scores goals. He gets goals, bruv. This guy is just goals written all over him. Now, one thing that man like Bruno Fernandes needs to work on in real life is his appearances in big games, isn't it? Because I've seen him go missing quite a lot of times, actually. And that's probably down to the management. Let's be real. The manager thinks that he can play one way against a lesser side the same way he can play against a higher side, innit? And, and that's not the case, bro, because it's very easy to mark someone like Fernandez out of the game 
if you do it properly. And in the bigger games, I'm going to be real, you're going to have to put Fernandez on the right wing. And it sounds mad, but let me explain. We know Fernandez loves a long pass, high intensity, just banging it in there. We know he loves to do that, innit? And what better place to do that but on that right wing? Because man will actually turn that into a very good cross, as you can see in real life. He's got a very good cross on him. So I see no one complaining about Pogba playing on the left. So there should be no issue with man like Fernandez playing on that right hand side. Because I think in the big games, that is where he'll be the most effective still. Especially if you've got man like Cavani coming off the bench, yeah. To, to, to anticipate those headers, innit? But he'll score against almost everyone else though. That's not a big team. Let's be real. Like that's guaranteed, innit? Like man will probably guarantee a goal against probably everyone else. Because he's just that inevitable, innit? Man already know. Put your bets on this guy. Put all of your money on him because man's definitely scoring still. Whether it be a free kick, whether it be a long shot, close range goal, a header. I've seen him score flipping headers. This guy... But mad variety of goals and, and man, man just knows where the goal is overall. Man like Bruno Fernandes, bruv. He's going to be the difference maker for Oli winning that league, bruv. Definitely, bruv. One of those players to make a difference still. So, and that is my little analysis on why I believe Man United will win the league, bruv. So yeah, you man, um, my, my little thoughts on that. So I'm just thinking, they're dangerous. Like in terms of squad, they're actually dangerous. You have to take them seriously now. Um, I do believe that in the big games, in terms of a tactical battle, if it does come down to a tactical battle, that's the only time I can think of them being vulnerable because I believe that Oli will just put that 11 out and this 11 here can just slap up anyone anyway. So yeah, um, if it's a tactical battle, they'll struggle. But if it's 11 versus 11, they're holding their own and, and that's how I feel right now. So yeah, that's my little thoughts and feelings on the end of um that, whatever I just did. I thought, I forgot what I just did. What was that? It's not even the player aims what I just did. But yeah, you man, if you like that video, like that video. Subscribe to the content you know what to expect from me and I'll see you in the next episode, bruv. Say.